Hi everyone, I'm Jose and I'm on tour exploring the museums of Washington DC and I'm ready to learn more about the history of the United States. On this tour, we'll visit a handful of museums from the more than 70 museums Washington DC has to offer. Museums that have collected some of the most important artifacts in the history of America. So let's go on tour and explore the museums of Washington DC. America is a pioneer when it comes to discovering, creating, or just establishing breakthrough inventions, everyday items that we tend to forget of a time when they simply didn't exist. And one of those breakthroughs is aviation. At the National Museum of Air and Space, we explore the possibilities of reaching the stars. The Smithsonian Air and Space Museum is an homage to one of the greatest achievements of the 20th century. The accomplishments of man in flight, which took us to farther reaches than we'd ever expected. The Air and Space Museum provides us with giant displays of the aerial innovations. Prepare to be amazed with one of DC's most popular museums. When you walk in and look beyond the crowd, you'll see the rockets scaling to the ceiling of the museum. And a chance encounter with American and Russian spacesuits giving history to the space race during the Cold War. The EVA spacesuit is a type of suit used for planetary exploration, similar to the suits worn by Neil Armstrong and right behind me is the Apollo Soyuz, the first type of international space station. In the next room, we come across a replica of a US space shuttle, the vehicle that took us to the stars. As we head to the next level, we can see the towering rockets from the museum staircase. Man's motivation to reach the stars can be traced to the history of navigation. This room contains nautical instruments that's been used for centuries, helping us navigate the planet to discover new lands. The measurements fueled the ideas of the famous Wright brothers. The brothers took a huge leap into the future, riding their flyer called the Kitty Hawk. The plane the Wright brothers used to take flight for a historic 12 seconds. This small achievement ushered in the era of aviation and to space, Neil Armstrong set foot on the moon and said the famous words, one small step for man and one giant leap for mankind. Welcome to the museum that fully embodies the fundamental ideals of America, the National Museum of American History, the museum that brings us the story of the American way of life. Diving into the Smithsonian Museums, we visit American history and a giant rendition of the American flag. We're greeted by America's first president, George Washington, sculpted by Horatio Greenough in 1840. It symbolizes the leader in war and peace. But how did we 
become us? A great question next to the Statue of Liberty. This museum contains many traditional American symbols like Uncle Sam and Lady Columbia, the national female personification of the United States. With shield in hand, she inspired pop culture superheroes like Captain America and Wonder Woman. The story of us is the torch of Lady Liberty, who seen the tired, poor, and hungry pass through her lands. On this interactive map, we can leave an imprint of our cities and states. The National Museum of American History contains a replica of the Constitution and its impact in creating a new government for the American colonies after the Revolution. I think the biggest challenge came after the American Revolution. A brand new country, how do you structure it with laws and liberty, freedom for everyone? Women, African and Native Americans were not represented in the founding of the manuscript, but fought for equal opportunities to build this nation. So what we have behind me is invention. Tons of American products and brands that became staple worldwide. Brands like Apple, Google, Microsoft, Nabisco, Chevy, Ford, you name it. All these brands reach out to the masses on a global scale. I'm supposed to be on tour. I don't know how I wound up in the Bronx. But since we're in the Bronx, might as well do a kick it. Let's talk America invention and the innovators. The Americas were once known as the New World, birthing new kinds of sports and bringing stars from fellow countrymen. In Puerto Rico, Mexico, Cuba, and the Dominican Republic, they dominated the game of baseball and gave us icons known the world over, like Roberto Clemente, Fernando Valenzuela, Luis Tian and Pedro Martinez. Baseball became a global sport that originated in Cincinnati, Ohio, just like hip hop music was born in the Bronx. And we enter the buses that lead to American life, to a renaissance of American ingenuity and industrialization. Here, we have a salesman pitching a new vehicle to a traditional American family cars that evolved from Henry Ford's Model T concept. But one of the most famous eras of American history is the locomotive period. This room houses a life-size engine, displaying the rise and fall of the public railroad system across America. As cars and buses became the new form of public transportation, kicking off the ever-changing landscape of American transit. As America changed, so did the roads. And soon, we had cyclists, cars, and buses sharing the streets. Before land vehicles, America traveled across rivers on giant boats powered by steam. This reduced the length of transporting goods across states. These dioramas display traditional passenger ships that traveled across the oceans and rivers. We finish the tour with modern America and computational technology, with Apple computers and the products that revolutionized the world. The majority of museums in Washington, D.C. are free to visit, and the Smithsonian offers around 20 museums full of national history, becoming an interactive library to the United States and growth of America. Let's take a walk to the centerpiece of the Smithsonian, the castle. The Smithsonian Institution Building was the first Smithsonian Museum, and it also contains the remains of James Smithson, the founding donor of the land that would become the National Mall. 
The displays in the castle are always changing, making each visit special, since the Smithsonian Institution has thousands of exhibits to explore. As I walk inside and follow the crowd, I'm anxious to see what awaits. So what does the future hold for the Smithsonian and the museums, especially for the inventions of America? The future of technology is in full display, reminiscent of the classic World's Fair, where a humanoid robot is attached to dozens of wires, mimicking the nervous system. And another stunning exhibit is a shiny black unmanned aerial vehicle, capturing the excitement of the visitors. Hey, there's even futuristic recliners. So what do you know? Even pop culture references make it to the museum. And those are Marvel superheroes. They're known as the Eternals. But one of the most stunning displays is the Virgin Hyperloop. It's surrounded by the crowd, curious to see the next level of transportation. The Hyperloop is a hub that runs in a vacuum tube, reaching airline speeds for everyday passengers and cargo. It runs on a magnetic track going from LA to San Francisco within minutes. So I look inside, excited, intrigued, and simply fascinated. So many inventions bringing us the future of human innovation to simplify everyday life. Like this artificial intelligence system for farming, bringing in new ways to work crops. The level of excitement in this venue is enough to wear you out. What better way to learn about America than exploring the first people of the land? The National Museum of the American Indian is a museum dedicated to the indigenous people of the Americas. America wouldn't be America without the originals of the land, the inhabitants that began the story of the continent. The Native American Museum is filled with all forms of Native American artifact and influence to everyday American life. From art to products and sports names, Native Americans have remained an important part of the American culture. The Big Chief is the traditional figure of Native American symbolism. The museum also celebrates the art and leaders of Native American history, like Pocahontas, who saved John Smith from execution and helped the starving colonists survive in Jamestown. George Washington built relationships with Native Americans, stating that Native Americans were vital to the growth of the American Republic. And across America, we see monuments of Washington engaging with Native Americans. But what started as treaties of peace evolved into taking land for the growth of a new nation. 
Native Americans were forced to sell 99% of their land, being consolidated into self-governed reservations. European America experienced exponential growth, building a new world and opening the doors to outsiders from all countries. The museums of Washington, D.C. are full of American and world history, surfacing all kinds of emotions. In these outstanding displays, it shows us some of the best and worst of human capabilities. It serves as a record for future generations to take inspiration from our achievements and learn from our mistakes. This is Jose for On Tour. If you like what you've seen today, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and share. If you'd like to know more about the places I've been to, please see the links below. Until next time.